Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you design this letter logo design in Inkscape. This logo is a combination of two letters, letter G and letter R. Now let's continue with today's tutorial in Inkscape 1.0. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view. Go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units of your page to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then change the width to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels. Then left click on this grids option. From the creation, left click on this drop down menu and select rectangular grid then left click on this new now here we have the option for the spacing x and the spacing y simply set the value of spacing x to 120 and set the value of spacing y to 110 and press enter and here we have the option for the major grid line for every five lines simply set its value from 5 to 1 and press enter then simply left click on this cross icon like this now left click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu on the right side of your screen like this and then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this now turn on the snapping options by left clicking on this icon then left click on this icon which says snap to paths and nodes and make sure that this option snap to grids must be enabled you can simply enable it by left clicking on this icon now select the pen tool with the left click of mouse like this then left click on this grid line and then left click on this one again left click at this one then at this one at this one and then at this one and press enter on the keyboard now left click at this intersection point of the grid like this again left click at this intersection point again left click at this point and again left click at this intersection point and then simply press enter on the keyboard like this now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse like this and then select both of these shapes then go to path and select object to path again go to path and select combine like this now in the fill and stroke menu simply left click on this stroke style change the width units to pixels and set the value of width to 40 pixels and press enter on the keyboard and then left click on this round joints and round caps like this now go to path and select path effects then move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen, scroll down and here we have the option for the path effects. Simply left click on this path effects menu, then scroll down and here we have a small option of plus. Simply left click on this plus icon which says add path effects like this and then left click on this corners fillet chamfer like this. Then select the edit path by nodes tool with the left click of mouse and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of the shape. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this green node and drag your mouse in downward direction like this. And if you want to set a specific value then simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on this node like this and you can see that a menu is appearing. Here we have the option for the node distance. Simply set the value to 25 and here select fill it then select modify. Again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node like this. Again set the node distance to 25, select fill it, then select modify, like this. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse, then go to path and select object to path. Again go to path and select stroke to path. Now if you want to remove these grid lines, then simply go to view and left click on this page grid, like this. And if you want to change its color, then simply left click on any of these colors, like this. Now this is our final design and if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.